Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeebs here, your old composer here, decomposing figuratively and literally right before your eyes. Music as well. Very mellow, chilled out day today. I've got my uh, nice hot cup of uh, Death Wish coffee here. It's raining. You know, our winter here in Hawaii, it has been getting a little cold. The water's down to 72 degrees and outside I think it's about 74, 75. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. How could I say that with a straight face? I know, winter settling in for a lot of people, but hey, this is our winter. It's like, you know, that kind of cozy thing. So, so based on that though, um, I've had quite a few uh, requests for more Radiohead. And one in particular just came through. I think you know who you are. I was like, oh, all right, let's do this. Uh, exit music for a film. So I decided to do finally a little homework and come to find out that this was the end credits uh, for Romeo and Juliet, Leonardo DiCaprio. And I'm gonna do something else completely different that I haven't done. I think I've done only once before. I did it on a tool video earlier this year. I'm actually gonna read the lyrics as well um, because that's what the journey of Radiohead has done for me is, uh, you know, I, music is one thing that I'm just supremely enjoying about how they've put out what they've put out in their discography, especially because of uh, their compositions um, that are very moving. But at the same token, um, lyrically, as I've also learned from bands like Tool and other bands after reading the lyrics, that uh, at least in the case of Radiohead, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to hear the, melody, the, the, the performance unlike a lot of metal bands where you have to dive in a little later and go, what do they say? So I decided I'm going to read along the lyrics with this. So anyhow, thank you very much. Ah, I'm so chill right now. Uh, like usual, how you can support me if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, because you know that the uh, video is not monetized for this channel, if there's any ads that run. And uh, also on the Patreon, just as well, you can go drift over there. And if you don't feel like uh, supporting me with coffee or anything of that nature, then you want a little something for your money. I got all kinds of different stuff on my Patreon channel. At least you can check that out. Where are all the links? They're down below. <laughs> okay, let's do this. This is uh, from OK Computer Radiohead, and the track is Exit Music for a Film. All right, let's do this. All right. <laughs> From your sleep, the drying of your tears today. We escape, we escape. Get dressed before your father hears us before all oh, hell breaks loose. Sing 
as a song A song to keep us warm There's such a chill Such a chill I'm sorry, it took me this long to stop because I was just really captivated by the performance. I think this track is catching in the kind of mood that I'm in right now where I found myself actually dissolving into the music as a pure listener, as you folks. And, and I've always joked around about that a little bit, about not being able to have the ability to listen to a song and just enjoy it because I am a composer. We dissect things. We, all of us who do music, you know what I'm talking about. But I found myself actually being consumed just by the essence of the performance. Um, the guitar chords and the playing is very wonderful, very simple. Simple is not easy. You've heard me say that many times. Uh, his singing is intoxicating for me in, in this breakdown um, because you can you feel the emotions of what he's singing. I think also that it kind of has precedent, the precedent setting emotion for this is as an exit uh, or running credits for a film that was heavy, uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, one of the things that I loved that was happening is at the end of the phrases here, let me look back at the lyrics real quick, um, where at the end of the first phrase, today we escape, we escape, and also the second phrase before all hell breaks loose, is the use of the chord change at the very end where there's a suspended note or a note that kind of keeps you feeling hung out there in the guitar, and you think that it's going to resolve in kind of a negative uh, or a minor you know, structure or, or, you know, key, and they go into the major. So there's that, that emotional tug of war of how he's singing what he's singing with the lyrics that he's written, and yet they create that tug of war of emotion there, you know. Um, now, when it goes into the breathe, keep breathing, um, once again, this is unique for me because I usually don't read lyrics while I do this, but because I am, I think it's part of the my being swayed into the song is because I was kind of getting into looking at something that I normally don't when I go through the process of uh, reacting uh, to music. Um, I love the composition in the back. I couldn't make out really if it was live uh, overdub vocals that were being done and edited in a particular unique way or maybe the composer or the keyboard player was using uh, a, a, a you know, modified hybrid vocal pad or something. It doesn't matter. I loved that. It was just absolutely wonderful. And it's, but it, it, that 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 uh, sound that they were using, be it live, edited, com, you know, in a unique way, or there, there was such a um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's a disconnected kind of inhuman kind of sound and a vibe to it in its tone, but yet it really, in an eerie way, just really supported some very heavy um, lyrics here, you know, breathe, keep breathing, don't lose your nerve, I can't do this alone. It's pretty, very, very heavy. Anyhow, I'm gonna go back a little bit and I'll take it back about a minute and then I'm not gonna say anything anymore and then I'll talk a little bit afterwards because I, I really kind of do want to just get back into this. This is, uh, for me, this was, uh, you know, that kind of thing where, okay, I'm actually more of a listener than I am, you know, a composer trying to decompose anything and I want to stay on that path so <laughs> let's keep going I'll go back a little bit here here we go <laughs> I swore such a chill, such a chill.
that you choke that you choke you know that it's that last little you know resolution to that chord for me um, absolutely just wonderful and um, you know <clears throat> the way in production they used these gritty, darker, heavier sounds. At first, for a second, I was looking at it going, is my system clipping or is there something wrong in that distorted sound that came back? Um, I, it, it, it's such a dark and heavy way to, you know, compose as he starts from this beautiful, lonely acoustic guitar and grows slowly in its arrangements. And then they kind of put, like I said, that kind of discombobulated kind of uh, vocal sounds in the background of uh, uh, the lead singer. And then a little bit of soundscape as the fourth, I think it was the fourth phrase started of this kind of noise. Was it kind of like people talking in the background or something? And then, of course, that elevated, you know, composition when the drums come in and a very, you know, digital kind of you know square waves saw kind of vibe and stuff uh, with the drums and everything that came through just lifting it to its most darking it ironically lifting it to what is most likely the most darkest section of the of the uh, of the track and then how it ends to the way that um, we hope that you choke that you choke that whole section the the mixing choice to pull out the guitar and the drums there and just let some of the anxiety of the of the composition and the tones that they were using there really kind of hover over the last few uh, parts of the lyrics and then slowly slips that down as the acoustic guitar gets slipped up but not as a whole meaning back to its original mixing position it sounded like just enough to kind of let you know that it's still there you know, and that was great. And of course, that last resolution in the chord to me was really super, super cool. Anyhow, um, thank you for hanging out. Um, I am doing quite a few videos lately, and I thought I was going to say, no, I'm going to do once or twice a week or three times. Ah, screw it. You know, just like I said on that video when I was like saying, okay, I'm taking a break and I'm going to try it. No, I'm just going, you know. I want to thank all the Radiohead fans. I know that I've released a few tracks before. And uh, you guys, a lot of, you're a very hardcore fan base. And in general, the comments have been really super cool. You get catch a little bit of smoke in my comments for one reason or another. But uh, in general, I want to thank you guys for your support and your constant suggesting of tracks for me. Go down that rabbit hole. Well, I'm in the rabbit hole now. I'm just like halfway through. Not even a half, probably. I'm probably just a uh, quarter of the way through it. But uh, I want to thank you guys, too, and also for your comments that you guys leave here. So you guys take care of yourself, grab your favorite cup of whatever it is in the winter time, wherever you are, and take a big fat sip. I hope you enjoyed this and this was as fun as a trip <laughs> as it was for me. Anyhow, I'm out of here. Aloha. All right.